Okay, so to create this like bubble transition, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna want to, hold on, let me just delete the bubble. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna get the ellipse tool and the way you can do that is by holding on like the rectangle tool and then getting clicking ellipse and then you're just gonna make one by holding shift and then it'll, oh I accidentally did a mask. I want to hold shift and then drag and then release and then let go shift and then you're gonna expand the amount of stroke I would say to like 800 pixels and but don't worry if it's like super big we're just gonna expand it down actually let's do like 900 just to be sure and then right here and then we're gonna align it and since the anchor point is already in the middle then we can align it without having to change the anchor point appear up for appear up for 10 frames before the transition and then 10 frames after you're gonna want to change the scale by adding a keyframe and then set the starting keyframe to zero uh, right there and then set the ending keyframe I would say to like 250 go to stroke width and set a keyframe like right at like 25 frames I guess and then we'll end one here and then you're just gonna want to set it to zero and if it does this thing where it doesn't go all the way then just change your scale and then change your scale keyframe and then just set it to like way more so like maybe like 400 will be good but you want it to fill up the entire screen so you can see like the edges aren't filled up all the way so we're just gonna change the scale a little bit more we'll do like 450 so there we go and it's doing that thing where it like starts getting smaller and you can just fix that by changing the scale even more that's not recording um but and then it'll do that and then it'll start just hole in the middle and if it does it too late, then you can just set this keyframe a little bit earlier. So maybe like right here. And then that's perfect. Alright. So then you got this. And if you want it to look like a little bit smoother, then you can just add motion blur. And with this like button right here. And then it should work. 